Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, training session on statistical uh, data analysis using SPSS. My name is uh, Vamsidhar. In this uh, session, I would be uh, covering um, one of the most important uh, concepts of SPSS, which is the exploratory data analysis. As the word itself is uh, saying, we are performing a lot of in-depth analysis on the data, grouping by one or more variables. So the same uh, thing, whatever we have uh, done using uh, the frequencies, like finding the descriptive statistics or finding for the distribution in the data, checking for the normality in the data, all these things we have done using the frequencies uh, as well as the descriptive uh, procedure of SPSS. Now, if I have to do the same thing using a subdivision in the records, which means grouping the records based on some variable like male and female, check for the normality uh, of the cholesterol levels for male as well as females or check out uh, for the skewness and the kurtosis uh, of the heights separately for male and female. If I want such kind of requirement where I would like to group the data and after that uh, do some kind of uh, descriptive uh, statistics or some kind of normality assessment on it, I can take the help of the exploratory data analysis uh, procedure in SPSS. That is uh, one of the things uh, I need to focus on here. Okay, getting into it. So, it actually helps us to determine whether the statistical techniques that we are using for data analysis are appropriate or not. Means, it can actually help us in terms of providing the same impact which we have done for frequencies and uh, descriptives wherein we can generate good number of graphs as well as numerical summaries probably for a group of cases separately. So, a couple of things we have to be comfortable with. This is more applicable to a scale data only. The exploratory data analysis is more and more applicable to a scale data. But the grouping has to be done either on ordinal uh, variable or a nominal variable. So, a categorical uh, variable should be used uh, for doing the grouping purpose. But the variable on which I have to analyze or I have to come out with the descriptive statistics is on the scale variable. So, from that standpoint only, I am creating a small case question where we are saying check out for the outlier records or check out for the distribution of the data of the records in weights, heights, cholesterol, all these things grouped separately for male and female. I would like to have this entire thing separately for male and female. If that is the kind of if that is the kind of objective I am having, I can very well uh, resort to uh, I can very well resort to this uh, exploratory data analysis. So, grouped by male and female separately or grouped by smoking status separately. So, if these are the kind of things, I can very well uh, use uh, the exploratory data analysis. Let's see uh, what we have to do for that. So, we will uh, try to create the same uh, question. Right, let me uh, save the data. So, here all I can do is analyze. Under the descriptive statistics, I can get into this uh, explore, wherein I would look at uh, the dependent uh, variables. Here I would like to look out for height, weight, whatever we have done uh, at an individual layer. I will take up all those cholesterol and risk. Let us say I am taking these four. 
but here i will do the grouping the grouping is done on either a nominal or an ordinal variable so in this case i am doing a grouping based on gender i could do it again based on marital status smoking status any of these combinations also but for the time being i am doing it on gender you can very well uh, plan out on the other things now using this i will uh, display the statistics as well as the plots i'll uh, keep it uh, as a default now what i simply uh, see here is gender height for male there are 198 records for female there are 200 records okay probably uh, we have to redo it a little bit more in case of options see here because we have excluded variables okay look at this under this option we have excluded the cases list wise and because we have excluded the cases uh, list wise what we are seeing is though in the original uh, data for gender male are 198 female are 19 male are 198 female are 200 similarly for weight cholesterol rest for all of them we have the male as 198 and female as 200 right and uh, this is a very base uh, case processing summary but once we come to this uh, descriptives okay the height the basic descriptives like mean median standard deviation minimum maximum all these things skewness kurtosis they are computed separately for males and females right so probably if i want a better presentation what i can do is i can double click on it create a kind of a pivot table here what do i do in this i go to this pivot go for a pivoting tray wherein instead of uh, displaying the gender here i would go for displaying the gender here so which means i would get the male and female side by side and uh, even the dependent uh, variable whatever is there i'll try to drag it here so that uh, instead of displaying uh, everything uh, separately and uh, even uh, the stat type also if required i will drag it here 